Hi survivors, it's me, Prepper Zan, reporting to you. Y'all, this is the first video that I I've um I've officially made or I'm officially making since they uh gave me another warning on uh this Prepper Zan channel and um stopped me from uploading. I I did have old videos saved on there. That's how I was able to release them and tell y'all I'm unable to upload and to follow me on my other platform. So before I even get into uh, my commentary, I would like to ask you guys to please, please, <laughs> please follow me on my other platforms because I was still able to upload what well, Patreon allowed me uh, to upload the stuff that they were censoring on here. And I have another YouTube channel where I was up, able to upload some water down stuff. And then I have... Um, my uh, Prepper Zan Twitter page, and then I have a Bitchu page. Um, Bitchu allowed me to, uh, they allow me to upload, you know, some of the watered down version stuff and some of, some of the real stuff, but not the stuff that I'm y'all are used to me really talking about. Only Patreon is allowing me to do that. I, I don't know if it's because it's a, a pay platform or uh, if that's what the, 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 um, the case is, but I do have a lot of new videos where I'm spitting how I really feel that I cannot do on this platform on Patreon. So I like to encourage y'all, if you can, to join me on play, on Patreon because soon it seems like I might only have to be on Patreon because all they keep doing is censoring me on here. And so I don't know when it's gonna be the last time they're gonna let. I, and honestly, I don't know when it's gonna be the last time that they're gonna let me have a video. Uh, uh you know, my last video gonna be on here. Honestly, you know, come, you know, coming, uh, being on this platform didn't come with a manual. It didn't tell me you can't say this, you can't say that, you can't do this, you can't do that. Well, quite naturally, you know, you can't be, you know, you know, with the promiscuity and the sexual content. I like everybody should already know that. You know what I'm saying? But as far as just saying things to the general public, as far as your view is concerned. They don't, they, you know, some of this, especially when it's coming to things dealing with what's going on in the world, things that's coming from the powers that be, if you're going against anything that they got going on, I know that this platform is it's against you speaking against that, things that's dealing with our health, they don't want you to speak about that. In the last video, I was talking about an experience that I just went through that I really wanted y'all to know about. I I uploaded it on Patreon because I know a lot of you guys was asking me what happened to the video. Y'all was looking at the video. Y'all was trying to click on the video and it, and it just went away. That's because they censored everything that I was saying. It's some very good information in that video. That's why they took it down because it'll help a lot of people. So if y'all want to know what's, what was said in that video, go to my Patreon page. And I have the title as the video that was removed. Um... There's a lot of new videos on my Patreon page that I can't put on here and that I can't put on my other platforms. But you guys can please, if you like to keep up with me and I would like to keep up with you, follow me on my other um, my other platforms. The links are all in the in the description because, like I said, I just don't know. This has like been my fourth <laughs> my fourth warning on here. Honest, I'm telling y'all. I think this is the third one. I think it's either the third or fourth. I'm not sure. I can't keep up with them no more, you know. So I don't know how much longer. Um, I'm going to try to be careful, but y'all know how I am. I'm very passionate about what's going on out here, and I talk about it. So I'm going to try to watch what I say. I thought I was watching what I said with the video they took down last time. Apparently, I didn't do well. <coughs> so, you know, I'm going to try. But uh, I do, do want to tell you guys I do miss you guys in um I hope y'all will, and I hope y'all will continue to stay uh, prepping and uh, exercising. Like I always iterate to y'all, exercise every day, eating healthy, you're drinking a lot of more water, cycling, walking in place, walking for 20 minutes, jogging for 20 minutes. If you stop exercising, get right back to it. Don't I don't care if you stop for two or three weeks, get right back to it. I don't care if you stop for two or three years, get right back to it. It's never too late. It's never too late. Just because you had some ice cream and cookies and cake yesterday don't mean that you can't exercise. That's even more reason for you to exercise. Just because you may cheat on a day if you have a diet, and just because you may cheat on that diet don't mean, oh, okay, I didn't miss something. Now I ain't no need. I might as well keep on picking myself out. No, you just keep going. You keep going. 
And then before you know it, you'll make a habit out of it. Y'all, we're human beings. We're going to cheat. Sometimes we're going to eat unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we're going to do some unhealthy things. But just, that don't mean that you just stop. You keep on going. You keep going. I'm going to tell y'all why. You should do it anyway for yourself. You know what I'm saying? For your body. You know? And then if you want to be a good prepper, the foundation of being a good prepper is taking care of your body and your mind. And then also because of the world that we live living in. All this stuff that's going on. Dealing with the body and all that you I'm telling you and all these different all the administration and the um healthcare industry who's no longer there and these people that we depended on to take care of us they're no longer there y'all a lot of them are, a lot of them are not you know I, I better say allegedly and let me get off that stuff because I don't want to get in trouble so it's imperative that you take care of yourself you have to take care we have to take care of ourselves you know it's going to come a time you you might get sick, God forbid, and it may not be those people and nobody. Or maybe people that don't know what they're doing. Because they might, anyway, but anyway, so yeah. You know, and I hope you guys know where a body of water is around you. Because we're approaching that dark winter. And I hope you guys have a lot of water stored and stuff in your house. Have enough food and supplies in your house. And then I'd like to take the time out to thank Prepper Tribe because right before they um, censored me and removed my video and I wasn't able to upload new videos, he uh, shared my video on his platform and a lot of his um, viewers that came to my channel. And I, I thank you so much for that Prepper Tribe. You know, y'all check out Prepper, Prepper Tribe's channel. And also, Urban Grand Grandpa, he's an Urban Grandpa. He also shared my videos and talked about me on his channel. I thank you guys so very much. That's like... It's so amazing, you know, the kind of support and love that you get on these on some of these prepping platforms. And, of course, um, uh, Full Spectrum Survival, he was the first one to do it, you know, uh, during the Texas Winter Storm. He started sharing my content and, and talking about me in his videos. And we know he has a huge platform over there. So a lot of his viewers are also over here. So I thank you guys. And I hope I can also enlighten you like uh, Full Spectrum Survival does, like Urban Grandpa does. And, um like Prepper Tribe does, you know, and I would like to also encourage you guys to follow me on my other platforms because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on this one because God told me to talk about it and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to do what God told me to do. I'm not worried about all these other platforms. The message is going to get out regardless, but, you know, I, I want to respect their rules and regulations and it will just be wise for me to do so. And since I'm on here, y'all, like I said, I just uploaded a lot of new videos on um, Patreon. I didn't stop. When they censored me here, a lot of y'all follow me on other platforms. So y'all y'all been able to see all these videos that I've up uploaded in the last week. And for those who haven't seen or you're interested in knowing what I was talking about, just follow, hit those links in the, in the description box. You're going to see a lot of new videos of mine. But you're not going to get the same content as uh, I'm giving to the Patreon members because, of course, quite naturally, I can't talk about that kind of stuff on these platforms. But... Uh, I want to also, before I get off, is, is uh, I want to encourage you guys to do inventory. Now, with time is running down, y'all. Time is running out. Time is running out. Every day, they're increasing the prices of food every single day. We're getting closer to the deadlines of all these things going on that's going on in the world. I talk about it on Patreon. I'm not going to iterate on it here. You know, um, all your old food, if you haven't already, if you're scorning your preps, eat your old food first. You know, put your new food away. Make sure you're label it, labeling it. Make sure you're putting those rice and beans. Like my um, Darnell said yesterday, freeze that stuff before you, when you get it, your rice, you know, uh, freeze, you know, freeze it first for, for some days, a couple of days. And then you take it out and then, you, you know, you put it into your uh, Mylar bags and you put your bay leaves in it. And then you seal those Mylar bags up and you put it up, you know, you put it, you store it in buckets for long-term food storage. And, you know, just get your houses in order, y'all. Make sure you have enough Band-Aids. Band make sure you have enough peroxide. Make sure you have enough alcohol, cotton balls. You know, your first aid kits are very, very important. Make sure you have also some medical supplies that you may need. I was showing y'all the nebulizer that I have for my mother that helps her to breathe. And also the butyrol that I put in the nebulizer. I also have a humidifier for my daughter for her asthma. 
Um, if you're on oxygen, make sure you have your oxygen tanks. I talked to a guy the other day. He said that he goes to dialysis. They have options now where they could come to your house. If I was y'all, I would set it up for them to be able to come to me as well because when the SHTF hits the fan and, and, and the grid goes down, God forbid, allegedly, and the water supply may get turned off, God forbid, allegedly, if these things were to occur, you have everything set up with you as far as your medical is concerned. Talk to your doctor about, you know, him prescribing you some more months of, um, medication try to get as much as you possibly can i know they only give you a little bit at a time y'all don't wait until it's too late too late time is winding down make sure you have as much as you possibly can especially the things in which you need not just food and water food and water are the basics of course you know but you have medicines a lot of people on medication make sure you have your vitamins make sure you have uh, plenty of clothes warm clothes blankets socks Gloves, hats, uh, coats. Make sure you have a good pair of running shoes. Make sure you have a good pair of boots. You know, and nails, hammers. Make sure you have some garden supplies. Make sure you have, you know, an aloe vera plant. It's really good for cuts, burns, bruises, and other things that, that can occur. You know, make sure you're starting to grow your gardens. You know, that you, you know, you're growing some foods and, and, and things of that nature. Make sure you are right spiritually. Make sure you meditate. Make sure you're praying. Make sure you stay, make sure you stay in calm. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other things I'm missing, but y'all pretty much get what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying, make sure you're ready. Make sure you're ready. If you need to downsize, go ahead and start looking into that. If you need to start moving in with family members, go ahead and start looking into that. Get with like-minded people. See how you guys come up with a plan. If you don't have a bug out location, all bug out locations are not locations where you got to go have your own piece of property or some kind of community where you can go to. It's just areas, places that you need to know where you and your family can escape to to get out of the cities and be safe. Just in case the cities go black, like they did here in, in, in did in Texas during the winter storm. The Texas winter storm, y'all, everything was dark around us. We couldn't see nothing. And if you was trying to navigate your way uh, driving, you you still couldn't see. You had a headlights, of course, but it was hard to see. I was the only fool. I said fool because I was the only one out there. I was reporting. But I won't ever do that again. That was scary. Because if, if my tire would have went flat and it was cold and icy and snowy and cold, I mean everything. And you couldn't see. Nobody's coming to get me. That was very, 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 a very dangerous situation. So try to just, you know, stay as prepared as you possibly can. Let's help one another in this comment section. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my Patreon if you can. Please, y'all, I want y'all to follow me on these other platforms. I don't know what's going to go on with this one. And uh, I'm not about to go back and forth with anybody. I had one of the viewers telling me, I don't even, I shouldn't even, I'm not going to go into it. But anyway, you know, I'm just, I'm not going to go back and forth with people about what I know is going on. It don't, it doesn't do anything for me to lie. It, I mean, lie for what? So, you know, um, y'all leave me a comment. Please give me a, 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 a thumbs up. And most of all, follow me on my other platforms. The link or the links are in the description box. Watch this world, watch the weather, smell your water, and keep surviving. Sandhero.com.